Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Crash 4. This time I'm going to take you through Cortex Castle. This is a really challenging level that mixes all of the masks together in some really interesting ways. Starting off, we want to phase out the lasers, jump over here, phase in the platform, phase out the laser, jump, phase it out, and jump to safety. We're going to hit the first checkpoint, we're going to phase over here, and there's an optional box for us to get up here, so you want to do a crouching double jump as soon as the platform stops. And we're going to phase and grab that one up, jump over here, keep phasing out the lasers, and then jump onto this platform here. Then you want to phase the lasers, jump over here to this flame box, get the one up, and then ride this platform up here. There's a single box right here to get. On this platform, you want to phase out the laser, jump and phase it out again, and then we're going to pick up the time mask. So 16 boxes in tow after some insane platforming. Okay, we're going to slow down these blades that we can actually jump on. And there is a one-up crate right here for us. Be sure to grab that. And then we want to break this flame box, slow down time, use the nitro as a bounce box and quickly get away. Slow down time once again so you can use these blades as platforms. Okay, jump up here, slide, get this box. There are two jet board enemies, so if you just slow down time, you can avoid them. You can actually bug these guys out and they can get killed by the buzzsaw and their AI deactivates and they just sort of sit there. Pretty interesting to see. Okay, so, Break these armored crates and then head into the bonus. We should have 25 of 170 crates. And this bonus will take you a while. No joke, it's hard. Grab the time mask, bounce on this nitro. That's gonna hit the switch. Jump, slow down time, come over here. And then we're gonna jump onto this nitro and then just slide away for the explosion. Slow down time, drop, touch the nitro. And then we're gonna slide into this little alcove, touch one of the nitro to blow everything up. And then once this robot shoots an orb, you want to slow down time, break the box, and jump up here. Hit this switch, come over here, break these two one-ups as you're slowing down time. Slide over here, break these boxes to come down here. Slow down time one final time, bouncing on these nitros all the way. And then break the one-ups, and you're done. No joke, that bonus took me maybe 30 tries, and I edited out a bunch of failures in this guide. So it is tough, but you can die as many times as you like. It will not affect the insane trophy. Okay, so slow down time. And then you just double jump onto that one blade. You don't have to worry about the rest. And you're going to hit this checkpoint. Okay, activate a Kano. Jump up here. Stop and activate the TNT. And then we're going to push this knight off the ledge using a Kano. Break these two crates. And then we're going to jump and activate. Then double jump over here. Break these. Break the flame box. And then trigger the TNT. Over here, there's another knight waiting for us. You only gotta bounce him once. Break these four crates and then trigger one of the TNTs. And then we're gonna jump over, double jump. And then we need to be very careful over here. We're gonna sliding double jump, hit this TNT, and make sure you skip the first box. Because you wanna do a long double jump off the first box back to safety. It is possible to do that using the second box, but you basically have to be on the bleeding edge corner as you bounce off of it. I have done it successfully, but I wasn't able to complete the run after doing that, unfortunately. Okay, so with those boxes broken and gravity being able to be manipulated, once you're ready, you wanna ride this platform up, drop off, reverse gravity and reverse it again so you can come over here. And then once the platform gets pretty close to the lasers, you can reverse gravity and float on up to it. Don't forget to trigger these two TNTs here. And then we're gonna break this stack of boxes here. And we're going to trigger the TNT once we're ready. All right, trigger it. And then you want to reverse gravity and reverse it again so you land on the ceiling. Okay, wait for the buzz saws. And we're going to take this very safely. So you want to crouch under this one. And we're going to jump, flip, and flip. And then crouch. And then we're going to flip and flip. Come over here, crouch. And do a long jump, flip, and flip again. And then crouch, and then do a double jump up here. Okay, then we're going to see a little event happen, which indicates that there is another level after this one. Okay, so head on over to this checkpoint and this is where things get crazy. Okay, so you wanna break these four crates, trigger one of the TNTs, and then hit the checkpoint, and that'll be 131 crates. With Lonnie Lowly, we have to do some phasing and we're just gonna pick up mask after mask after mask in this section. So it's gonna go very quick. So once you're ready, phase out the wall, jump onto this platform, and we're gonna do a sliding double jump, Grab a Kano, activate, grab the time mask, activate that, and then slow things down, come over here, grab the gravity mask, do a flip flip, hit the checkpoint, grab a Kano, go back to the platform of safety, 
jump over, trigger these two TNTs. Econo jump, get the time mask, slow down time. Hop on those, grab the gravity mask, and then now this bar is going to start chasing us. So you want to do a sliding double jump over here, and then wait and crouch and double jump on top of the laser grid. And then we're going to do a crouching double jump onto this TNT, and then do a sliding double jump to break this box and get the hidden gem and hit the checkpoint. And it's only going to get crazier from here. So once you hit the checkpoint and you're ready to go, grab Lonnie Loli, jump and phase into these lasers, phase them out to be safe. Then you want to avoid this robot, drop down, grab the Econo Mask, just do a sliding double jump, double jump onto these TNTs, come over here for safety. You're never going to use this particular Econo Mask. Okay, crouch here, and then do a crouching double jump to grab the Time Mask. Slow down time once these boxes are in a good position, and then come down here. You can wait on this for safety, you don't have to. Grab the Gravity Mask, immediately flip, grab the Time Mask, slow things down and grab the Flashback Tape. And then you can wait here for as long as you want. Once you're ready, slow down time, slide under, grab the Econo Mask, press R2, grab Lonnie Loli, phase it, grab the Gravity Mask, press R2 twice to flip over. It's crazy. Basically, every time you pick up a mask in that final section, just press R2 to use it and keep holding forward, and you're going to be okay. Until you get the Gravity Mask, you got to hit R2 one final time to get to safety. I recommend if you need help with that, it's a lot of faith that the masks are just going to do their jobs. It really is just pick up a mask, press R2, keep holding forward. Like, it's just how it works. Uh, but if you do need extra help, feel free to slow down that footage and just see how it all works and just be very patient with it. It's it's a cool sequence once it works, but having faith that it will work is a little uh, anxiety-ridden uh, of an event. It, it's cool, though. In any event, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Crash 4, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch, and as always, I'll switch Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.